Hi friends, so today the topic is definition of active pharmaceutical ingredients per se. For the pharmaceutical persons, they must know this. So as per ICHQ 7 guideline for good manufacturing practices that is called GMB, API that is active pharmaceutical ingredient is, this is the definitions covered in ICHQ 7 guideline. So the definition is any substance or mixture of substances intended to be used in the manufacturing of drug, medicinal product and that when used in the production of a drug become an active ingredient for the drug product. So that is the active part of that particular drug. Sub substances are intended to furnish pharmacological activity or other direct effect on the diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment or prevention of disease or affect the structure and function of body. So if any drug is composed of two components, not only API, there are two components in any drug. The first one is itself API, the main part. And another thing is excipient, which is the later part. So, if a drug is in the syrup form, like if uh, like uh, if you use a particular one uh, syrup for uh, any disease, so then the excipient will be the liquid that has been used. API is not that liquid. Liquid is been used that is the excipient. So excipient are the inactive or inert substances present inside a drug while the API are chemically active substance which is mean to be produce the desired effect in the body. Now uh, the understanding. So this is the understanding I have prepared for you all. Uh, like uh, Crocin is a brand uh, in pharmaceutical uh, company. So in uh, so paracetamol is the active part of that uh, uh, tablet. Like 500 mg, 500 milligram is actually the API. It is powder, which is responsible for tablets to cure the fever. It is used to cure the fever. But the tablet actually contains lot more than 500 milligram of paracetamol. Which are they? They are some colorants, binders, fillers, preservatives, etc. So now uh, it is now covered in your mind what is EPA. So if someone asks you, so please explain the detail active pharmaceutical ingredients, you will definitely able to uh, teach them or serve them. So next time we will come with some new definitions and understandings. Subscribe my channel.